What's going on, everyone? Just reporting live from the quarantine cave. Hope everybody's staying safe, staying indoors. Make sure you keep your distance from people, man. You know, as you can see, I'm staying hydrated, just kicking back. It's day 17 without sports, though. It's been very tough, very tough. Trust me. Uh, it's only but so many old games you can watch. There's only but so much 2K I can play. There's only but so much Madden football I want to play without watching a uh, real game. But either way, again, day 17 got me thinking. And I, I made a post recently about this as well that I'm not sure if the Patriots will miss Tom Brady as much as he's going to miss playing for Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. And here's why I just really started to think a little bit more about it. As... We've heard things come out and we heard, you know, oh, Brady's not only going to Tampa, but he's bringing uh, Antonio Brown with him. They're going to go get Todd Gurley. Uh, there was all this talks of, of creating this superstar offensive unit around Tom Brady. We see it hasn't happened. Todd Gurley's going to Atlanta. Antonio Brown still does not have a job. Um, I wonder if Tom Brady had to leave um, New England just based off pride and the fact of saving face. You know, he renegotiated his contract last year so that he could become a free agent. And ultimately, I don't think the offers were there the way he thought they were going to be. Um, the Colts already have made up their mind on who they were going to bring in. Panthers uh, moved on pretty quickly to Teddy Bridgewater. They didn't seem too interested in trying to chase Tom Brady. Um, the Chargers seemed content on going with Tyrod Taylor or possibly drafting a quarterback. So I think they were willing to wait it out on Brady as opposed to striking fast. Uh, the Raiders don't seem like they were that interested either. Again, they moved on pretty quick by signing a backup quarterback um, and saying they're going with Derek Carr again. And I think it really left Brady in a situation where it was either going to be Miami, which I don't think he would dare do uh, and spite the Patriots that way, going back to New England or going to Tampa. And he chose Tampa. Tampa was willing to offer him more money. I also think that the pa Patriots held firm to their beliefs of uh, with a player of that age and, and the way his stats have steadily declined over the last few years. Granted, still the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. Uh, still putting up quality numbers despite the lack of offensive weapons. I think the Patriots felt more than secure moving on unless he was willing to come back at a number they felt comfortable with. And I think that's where Tom Brady's pride stepped in. Tom Brady was not going to go back to the Patriots and take uh, uh, bargain basement deal as he's had in the past. He felt enough was enough. Uh, there's been recent reports of uh, how he felt slighted by the organization in the last few years. But ultimately, this was a decision made more about pride than what made the most sense. Anyone who's ever watched football understands that Bill Belichick is the greatest head coach the game has ever seen. And to leave Bill Belichick to go to a situation with an unproven, very young Tampa Bay team Bruce Arians has never had the type of success that Bill Belichick has had as a head coach. Uh, they've got a shaky offensive line. They've got a shaky running game. And quite frankly, they're still not even the best team in their division, let alone in their conference. So to leave New England where you were playing for a Super Bowl every year to go to Tampa, to me, was more about pride than actual fit. And I think a lot of people who have tried to uh, turn this story into, oh, how, how great Tom Brady was at thinking this through and strategizing where he wanted to go, you're overlooking it. Uh, he had very little options. He decided to go to Tampa because it made more sense for his pride than his actual football career. If you think I'm wrong, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, man. But we're going to see as the season play on. I'm willing to go on record now uh, on March 28th that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are not only uh, the second best team in their own division. They're probably only the fourth or fifth best team in the NFC compared to him going back to New England where he would have been playing for home field advantage. But again, drop a comment. Let me know what you think, man. Legend of two games. Real fans, real talk. Everybody stay safe, and we can't wait to get back on the air for you guys. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans, Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. 